late Thursday afternoon, the uh, 15th day of uh, June 2017, and I have been uh, a little uh, busy, you know, as it, uh, well, I've actually taken a uh, very long drive, well, a long drive, you know, down to Needham, Massachusetts, <laughs> to the uh, You Do It Consumer Electronics and uh, Hobbyist Store. You know, with it now that Radio Shack has been uh, has gone down the toilet. You know, with it either you do it down in Needham, Massachusetts, or the uh, rather junky with it, uh, you know, the electronic surplus supply uh, store down and up in uh, Manchester is where. The only places where I can uh, get my hands on uh, stuff like uh, stuff for my Arduino, you know, the uh, microcontroller, you know, the, and of course with the uh, Here is my Arduino microcontroller. Now it's the Arduino Uno board. Now it's the, the, the Uno board you know, version. And, uh, you know, today you do it electronics. I managed to take and uh, get down there. And I purchased, this is the uh, motor drive shield for Arduino. It's made by a, uh, it's made by another company, you know, that, uh, but it is the Arduino uh, motor shield. You can drive four motors, or you can drive uh, two servos. Well, uh, well, uh, two parallax uh, uh, servos, you know, that, uh, which is good. And, of course, it just, uh, the way it uh, connects, it's got the, uh, the uh, pins underneath, and you just... Plug it in. And so essentially, now I'll have the uh, core of a little uh, robot, you know, that I'm going to take and eventually will uh, get to build. You know, I've got the motors in another room, you know. That, uh, taking you know to make some kind of a little base, mount the motors, and I got to find a way to mount the uh, mount the Arduino, and also was it uh, so was it uh, that's what I've been doing uh, you know today you know the spending time with it. Uh, you know, that driving all the way to Needham, driving all the way back from Needham, you know, that, and of course the traffic was totally nuts on uh, Route 93 and uh, Route 128, you know, which is of course Route 95, you know, that I-95 or was it uh, Massachusetts Route 128, which is the inner Beltway Road. So that if you want to get stuff for the for me to get uh, stuff for my uh, 
to start fooling around with making a making a little rover bot, you know, with it. It takes a little bit of time to take and uh, get these things to with it to, to get the materials. And of course, whether when I could have it scrounge around for the for the cash, you know, only was it after I get my uh, Social Security direct deposit and uh, of course pay all my pay my other bills, which is important. You know, the the bills have to get paid first before doing anything else. You know, that because there are, shall I say, rules that have to be followed. And yes, I did also, uh, I did also pick up a, uh, pick up a light sensor module too while I was, uh, uh, while I was down at the, uh, uh, you do it electronics. You know, I'll venture you with a this will this will mount in the front of the robot. You can have the uh, the three wires, you know, uh, power, ground, and uh, uh, plus plus five volts, five volt return, and the uh, analog output with the from the uh, from the from this. Uh, you know, with a photoresistor that will, with a send an analog signal back to the Arduino with a uh, microcontroller, and I, I use it as a simple with a uh, simple light sensor. You know, would be able to with have a uh, have a let you have a robot that with it point a flashlight at it or. Uh, or uh, point a laser pointer at it, you know, and then have it uh, follow that. You know, that'll be the f my that'll be really be my first simple was it uh, rover bot. Once I uh, once I get things built, and of course I want to keep all my stuff together so they don't. In an anti-static bag, so it doesn't get uh, cooked on me, you know, from electrostatic discharge. So, well, anyways, was it? That is, was it? Uh, this is today's, was it? Uh, video weblog.